What do you think of Greece so far? Beautiful. Gorgeous? Gorgeous. It's windy up here on the deck. It'll be windy in Greece today, uh, in Santorini. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. These mountainside uh, towns tend to be very uh, windy. So while I got a little bit of time here, I just thought I'd sit and talk about me and about, you know, why, why I'm a pilot. Why, why did I uh, end up with Cirrus airplanes? And how I kind of got to this point. Um, I've always wanted to fly. Uh, started when I was a kid and my my parents used to take me out to the airport just so I could watch the planes come in overhead and um, I, I was just amazed at these machines so I started off uh, traveling for business I, I did a lot of business travel in fact the company that I just uh, recently sold was was not the first of its type I actually worked and developed and then actually built three other similar companies to this before I did it uh, with Quantumflow. Um, and uh, it, it's a grind. It's not easy and it takes a lot of hard work. Don't, don't think that uh, if you watch some of these videos of more successful people that, you know, that just happened. I guess sometimes, you know, some people win the lottery, but usually the people that are, are doing well, it's just a result of hard work. And that's, that's, that's pretty much going to be the case with everybody. Um, I spent a lot of time in the back of large commercial jets. I'm always, I was always intrigued. I was that guy that you know, turned the corner coming into the, into the airplane and always wanted a glance inside the cockpit to see what it looked like and you know, see all the, you know, when I was a kid, all the steam gauges and, and uh, all the switches and knobs and things and wonder to myself, how do these guys know where all these knobs and switches are? Um, and uh, did that for most of my life, just sort of admired it from afar. And I actually didn't start training to be a pilot until age 50. And um, what I found was when Vern, and of course Vern was my instructor, he's been there at the beginning of every video. Vern has been my instructor from day one. We would get up early in the morning. We would do early flights because in Florida, you want to do early flights, especially in the summertime, because number one, it gets very hot. And if you're going to be, uh, if, you, if you're going to go up and start burning gas, you want to burn it when the air is cooler <laughs> as opposed to when the air is you know, warmer. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Density altitude. So we would go up. It's kind of while I was doing ground school, too. And um, then I would go into work. And what I found is right after I finished that uh, training with Vern, I just I felt awesome. It, just, it was just the adrenaline was rushing and it was you know it was the way to start the day and i just honestly i was a lot more productive when i was flying in the mornings so 
Um, obviously, this was something that I had a passion for, and you know, I, I didn't even realize just how much it would change me as a, as a person, change my outlook. So uh, that's really what got me hooked. Is um, you know, one discovery flight uh, hooked me, and then you know, the continual training. So um, what it turned out to be is a really amazing uh, tool that I've been able to use uh, when I have to be somewhere and be with people. So I still work for uh, Quantum Flow. Um, I'm just no longer the owner and um, I work sort of as a brand ambassador and that requires me to travel out and talk about the product and the plane gives me gives me that freedom to do that. So um, for example, it's it's a three and a half, four hour trip, depending on traffic to Miami, I can make it from Sanford to Miami in less than an hour, 45, 48 minutes. So that's, that's one example, but you know, Florida is a big state. So having an airplane uh, and traveling around the state of Florida, it is literally about just like traveling across town in Orlando. So, you know, I can, pick up the phone as long as the weather's good I can go VFR and say hey I'll be there in an hour and be there <laughs> you know just pick me up at the airport or whatever so it, it's really opened things up and um, you know people ask uh, you know what does it take to be successful because you know I'm kind of morphing into this a lifestyle channel I think is what I like to call it um, and, and 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 honestly, I'm, I'm not I'm not bragging. I'm not trying to brag about myself. But what I'm trying to do is what I what I was able to glean from other people. I I spent a lot of time um, in airplanes, and of course, the more times the more time you spend in airplanes, the more perks you get. And I I, I sat in business class, first class, a lot because I had a lot of mileage. But the benefit of that was not just the comfort. It was the people, and I met a lot of people, and I always asked the people that, that I knew were successful, that I, you know, if I started talking to them, and I realized, oh, this is someone who's really done very well, I ask them questions about, you know, what does it take? Well, what does it take to be successful? That's what I hope to bring to this channel, is here's my story. You could ignore it and just watch the cockpit videos, or, you know, take something from it, and if you do, I certainly wish you the best, and I hope you do well. Um, in my particular case, I talked to a lot of smart people. Those guys at the bar are loud. Who blazed the trail and made it easier for me. So I kind of had the answers to the test, you know, before I started the test. And uh, that's kind of what I hope to bring to my channel. You know, these little bits. I think they got enough ice over there. Little bits, pieces of my experience um, as as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a pilot, that that maybe will, you know, somehow trigger something in in, in your head or or maybe you're like me and you're uh, you're watching this to say, you know what, he's absolutely right, I agree. And I'd love to hear those comments. Don't forget to uh, I, I try to I try to answer every and all comments that come in. So I will continue to do my best. They haven't been an avalanche, so I've been, I've been able to respond to most everybody. I, if I haven't, comment and let me know. Say, hey, you didn't respond to me. Um, but I do try to respond to all the comments. Hopefully you get something out of it, and, and really that's what this is about. So entrepreneurship it takes a special kind of person to be an entrepreneur, uh, to go out and put yourself on the line, because that's what it is. It's taking huge risk with the potential for huge loot. I don't believe this. It's the loudest ice. They're filling the, uh, they're filling the, the ice shredding machines for the, the strawberry daiquiris and the pina coladas, frozen drinks.
And I just picked the right time to do this, I guess. Um, so I'm off topic. It takes capital and it takes risk to create jobs. Jobs cannot be created if people don't take risks. And that's the important thing to remember about entrepreneurship and capital. So a lot of the people that are, you know, one out of every 10 businesses succeeds. It's just not a very good record. Yeah, I want to, I'll continue this conversation, but I just had a time, just a moment here to sit down and talk about it. Don't want to bore you. We've got some great stuff coming today in Santorini, but I wanted to at least give you kind of a background as to, you know, where, where's my head at? And um, to be to be entrepreneurial, to be a business owner is not to be greedy, it's to be giving. And um, we give back in the form of job, good jobs, good paying jobs. Our jobs paid higher than the average in my area uh, of the state of Florida. And um, we also give back to the economy by paying our taxes and, and supporting, uh, you know, sort of the community as a whole. So more to come in Santorini. Thanks for listening to me. If you like what you hear, let me know. If you think I'm full of it, let me know. <laughs> it's always nice to, to, to get feedback, get some direction, you know, because we're sort of in, we're, we're in very uh, different waters right now, uh, trying to evolve into this pilot lifestyle channel. Maybe I'll call it that. See you in Santorini. <laughs>